Hi, Dr. Dean here. Thanks for watching this short video. In today's video, I'm going to show you two exercises that you can start doing today if you're suffering from scapular winging. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to take you to the blackboard here, and we have a drawing of a person's back. We have the head, we have the shoulders, and in the middle back area, we have the shoulder blades. Now, winging scapula happens when the muscle underneath the shoulder blade, the serratus anterior muscle, is weak, and then the scapula moves in this direction. The medial border over here is up and away from the rib cage. So there's weakness in that muscle. So what we have to do is strengthen that muscle underneath. And I'm going to show you an exercise in this video. Another thing we want to look for is any tightness and muscles that attach to the shoulder blade. So we not only have the serratus anterior muscle, we also have several muscles as well. And the one we're going to focus on today is the levator scapulae. And the levator scapula is this muscle right here. And we have one on each side. We have one here and one over here. And it attaches from the neck area to the superior angle over here of the shoulder blade. And the purpose of this muscle is to elevate your shoulder. So if there's tightness in that muscle, it will elevate the shoulder up so some people can, can look like they have a shoulder that's higher than the other. Now the reason this is important, why you want to make sure you strengthen and, and uh, stretch these muscles is because the scapula plays a big role in the movement of the shoulder itself. Two-thirds of the movement in the shoulder are, are done by the shoulder joint itself. The other third happens to come from the scapula. So, for example, when somebody is lifting their arm all the way up like this, two-thirds of that movement, the initial movement, comes from the shoulder joint. The other third happens when the scapula has to shift over in this direction. So, if we have a scapula that's not moving correctly because of uh, weak muscles or tight muscles, then that's going to limit the range of motion in the shoulder. Now... What we want to focus on as far as stretching the levator scapula here is making sure that we get the most stretch that we can get from that muscle. And in order to do that, what we have to do is raise the arm overhead because when we do that, the scapula moves in this direction. So the inferior angle goes up, it does this, and the superior angle over here comes down. So by coming down over here, this muscle is lengthening. And what you want to do next is not only lengthen this this point of attachment here, but also the one at the top. So what you want to do there is you want to turn your head opposite from the shoulder that's affected and also look down at a 45 degree angle. That's going to give you the most stretch on the levator scapula muscle. Now I'm going to show you these two exercises. Push your arms into the ground and that's going to force your shoulder blades to separate. And while you hold that position, then rock back into your heels, pushing into the ground the whole time. It's important to maintain the shoulder blade separated. Come back to the starting position, and then you're going to repeat this 20 times. Turn your head away from the affected arm. Using your hand, you're going to stretch down towards the opposite pocket, and then raise the arm overhead, and you want to hold that stretch for about 5 to 10 seconds. Then you're going to relax the arm and the head, and then you're going to repeat this again 20 times. So there you have it guys, that's two exercises you can start doing today if you're suffering from scapular winging. Now if you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also leave me your comments and questions below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. And in the meantime, if you're suffering from a winged scapula and you're looking for natural ways to treat this problem without going under the knife, then I suggest you visit my website, wingedscapulafix.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.